My husband wants to lie in his groom speech from my community tab and from Reddit. I posted uh, a snapshot of a fiance is saying that her husband to be wants to lie in his groom speech. And I, I'm just like, this is this is and this is why I cannot help women who chose the wrong husband. It's like it's not I can't help you. I can't help you. Okay, I I just cannot. We're just gonna go ahead and jump into it because I'm a little late this morning. I wasn't gonna do a video this morning, but since I have about 20 minutes, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this quick video. So we can talk about it ever so often. I post things in the community tab, and if you get some traction, I bring it to you, okay. So we can talk about it on a bigger scale. And also, ladies, so that we can learn. This is a perfect example of gathering data. It says, by the way, welcome to all of our new cousins and bays. And thank you for those of you picking up my books. I love you. I appreciate you. She said, am I the as, as for refusing to let my future husband lie about the house he and I purchased during his groom's speech? <laughs> My fiance, 37, and I, 35, 33 female, got engaged a few months ago. We're getting married soon, and the invitations were already sent out. Right now, we're focusing on much smaller details. We've also been busy moving into our new home. So they're shacking up, right? They're not married, but they're going to live in sin until they get married, okay? You're not supposed to live together. Let me... Let me... Church girls... If you are saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost and love Jesus, you are not supposed to live with your man before you get married. I don't care if it's a week. I don't care if it's a day. You, you not, if, if you want to honor God, okay? If you want to honor God, you do not. You do not. You're not supposed to uh, live with him. I don't care if it's a day or an hour, Okay. If you want to honor God, that's on dishonorable to God. And, and we are to, supposed to do everything we possibly can do to honor God, okay? So, no, don't live together. Oh, it's just a day. Don't matter. Uh, we've also been busy moving into our home that we purchased together. 30% per, of his saving and 70% of mine. Walk away, Janice. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. 30% of his and 70% of yours. So that means you're going to be the man in the marriage. You're the man. You're the man. Into our new home that we purchased together, 30% of his savings, 70% of mine. I have to say that saving up for this house took most of my savings and prevented me from enjoying the things I love spending money on. I'm making the assumption she's talking about the down payment because very few people buy houses cash. Very few people. So let's say, let's say the down payment, um, let's say the down payment was $20,000. I think that's a fair amount. Okay. We, um, 5% of the house we were looking at was $36,000. Okay. So let's say it's 20, it, let's say the down payment was 20,000. So that means she saved 15,000 and the, 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 the man only saved 5,000. I don't know if the numbers are right, but go with me. Okay. Let's say it's 20,000. She saved 15,000 and this the niggerette save 5,000. So she's going to be the man. Now, when it comes to buying a house, people have to do what's best for them. You know, with the first home buyer say, but the, the, I will be, mm, if I'm going to be saving 70%, and he's going to bring $5,000, the devil is a lie. We'll move along, moving along. So that's our mistake right there. That's right there, girl. That should tell you everything you need to know. My fiance sat me down yesterday to talk about his groom speech. He talked about few points, but that made me upset was when he asked if I would be okay if he mentioned the house. Did I put this back up here? 
anointed. If he mentioned the house, we bought and say that he was the one that bought it. This bomb who could only bring 30%, that's $3 out of $10, okay? This girl that could only bring $3 out of $10 want to take the credit for the whole and say he's the one that bought it. <sighs> I was a bit taken aback. I asked why, and he said, it's just a confidence boost. This is why, who was it? I'm going to give you credit in the comments that said, this is why men are to be providers. He needs that confidence boost. He needs the confidence boost, but he can't afford it, sir. You didn't even bring 50%. You didn't even bring $5. You brought $3. <laughs> it's just a confidence boost during the speech, and that's it. And first of all, why you need to mention your speech, your house? I said it didn't feel comfortable with the idea because I think that's just unfair not to acknowledge the fact that I sacrificed so much to be able to buy the house. I reminded him of which how much I contributed, but he said this doesn't change that it's our house. So it shouldn't matter to me if he said he bought it or we both did. I refuse because then people will always think the house was bought by him, which is something that will never change no matter how hard I try to prove that I contributed 70%. He got mad at me and said that I was really overthinking this whole thing and making a big deal out of it. We got into an argument and he started yelling, saying it's just one favor he's asking me to do. And yet I'm making this ridiculous small request, my hill to die on. Oh, it's a small request, sir. It's a small request you're making of her. So what's the big deal? Why don't you tell them about your small 30% you put down? Okay. Mm. He basically sucked and now he's out and refusing to answer my call. So basically he started the silent treatment till I cave, cave in. Am I the at for making this my hill to die on? You're an uh, for even continuing to marry, to go on, to continue to, to the point that you bought a house. You know why? This is not the first thing. Let me just say this. Dave Ramsey says, if you're going to save all your house, all your, all your savings and emergency money on your down payment on a house, you don't need a house. You don't need, you don't need to buy a house. Okay. Cause we, my husband was telling uh, the, our mortgage rep 50000 down, and he basically laughed at us. He was like, not in this this economy, not no 50000 See, 10 years ago, $50,000 is a lot of money. 10 years later, $50,000 is not a lot of money, granted, the in the housing market we're currently in, okay? So this lady is probably the type of wife who is dating this man, have seen these things, went to the restaurant, you know, the desperate pick me type of woman who he can't afford and you push him your, your car so he can pretend he paid for it so you can boost his confidence. No, he is not ready to get married. He is not ready to be a husband. She will continue to be the man in this marriage. Read the naked wife. <clears throat> if she's putting down 70%, she's the man. She's the whole man. And this is the type of wife that will be in the wife groups later crying. He's a narcissist. That's why I tried very hard not to use the words when it comes to wives, because I'm like, you saw the red flags before you married him. They ain't going to get mad at me. Come in my comments, get mad at me because I'm asking, well, why did you marry him? This is a huge sign for you to put a stop to the marriage, ma'am. Because I guarantee you, if she go back and tell, I'm going to try to find it again. 
and tell us everything about their dating history, you can see time and time and time again when he tried to do this. And you think this is go it's going to end here? He probably going to say he carried the baby, ma'am. He is going to want to take credit for carrying the baby. Ladies, that's dating for marriages, okay? This is why dating is for data. Why are you marrying a man that you can't afford to put, let's say, let's just be fair, because of the economy we're living in, we're, we, you're, he's not able to even put 50% down of the down payment. Let's say the down payment was $20,000. He couldn't even come up with $10,000 to put down payment on a house and you're going to marry him? You're going to submit to him? Then you're going to be crying about... Girl, ladies, these are the things you look at. Hello, dating is about data. This is why I tell you, do not marry... Don't meet a man and make him your man. <clears throat> Don't buy a house with a man you're not married with, too. And don't marry a man that can't provide. Like, how many times do I need to say this? Granted, because of we just had a pandemic and, and economy and stuff, I, I can go with it. If he, if he brought, let's say the down payment was 20 and she brought 10 and he brought 10 to down payment. I can, I can see that because we are coming out of a pandemic and we are going into a recession and the crap, my, the stock markets. But he wants to take credit for y'all, what y'all do. If he is going to mention it, shouldn't he say, we bought us a house? No, the vinaigrette want to take the credit and say, he's the one that bought the house when the vinaigrette couldn't even put 50% down, but you're still going to marry him, ma'am? And then want to cry? I cannot. The Naked Wife, she will be, I'll be writing about her in The Naked Wife Part 2 very soon. I love y'all. Be sure to thumbs up. Uh, remember, those of you... You, I, I get it all, Janice, I love your content. I don't see you in my Patreon, beloved. Join my Patreon, join my membership. I, my membership is going to be changing on YouTube, but be sure to show me love in my Patreon and on my membership. I love you. Let me know what y'all think. And ladies, what are the signs that's divorce or going through a marriage? What are the signs you overlooked? Like somebody had comment, I don't remember who, and she said, well, that's it for us. You ain't got no, I don't. We're just doomed because we chose wrong. I can't help you. Because my answer is you need to divorce him. And I don't like to tell people to divorce their husband. So that's why you need to go get a certified marriage counselor that can help you. Because how do you make something right that's wrong? How do you fit? You can't. You can't, you can't fit, you can't fit this in here. It can't fit. No matter what you do, no matter how you turn it, it's not going to fit. So it's like, I can't help you if you marry a man that you knew was not financially able to provide. How, how, how do you get him to be a provider when you married a man that's not a provider? How do you, how do you get your abusive husband to stop beating you when you knew that before you marry him. I, I, I just, I can't. And I, I'm just on YouTube trying to get the girls that's not married yet to, to choose wisely and pay attention to these men that you are dating and learn to gather data correctly and learn to walk away and learn to stop getting into these relationships. Stop making them your man. Stop making them your baby daddy. Stop making them your boyfriends. Gather the data. Walk away. She should have already walked away. I guarantee you she paid for the ring. Because if if he didn't, if he only had 30%, he paid, she paid for her ring too. She paid for her ring. I have to go, young. I love you. Let me know what you think. Uh, the naked wife is available on Amazon. Love you. Thank you.